So before we start designing an illustration, what we're going to do is start finding some colors and build some palettes. So I love going on Unsplash and finding some pictures. I just typed in desserts. These photos are free high resolution photos um, that you can use and they're royalty free. You don't have to give any credit. And what I'm looking for is some nice palettes, some nice pictures where you can draw some colors. So what I did, I picked this picture here. I really loved it. It's got a lot of colors in there, but what we're going to do, we're going to bring it to Illustrator and start um, drawing from it. But you can see here you've got all these other photos. So it's good to build colors from real life um, in imagery and real life objects. So you can see here some cupcakes, some nice blues there. Even these mar macaroons um, over here got some nice you know, colors, very bright. Um, or with dessert, it's really pastel as well because it's very sweet, sweet tooth. So you can find these cool pictures, just download some of them. Um, and then what we're going to do, you can just draw some colors out of that. So I'm going to go into Illustrator now. And you can see I've got my photo here that I just dragged in as a JPEG. And what we're going to do, we want to open up our swatches panel. So go window and go down to swatches and then you can get this up. And on the corner of our swatches, you can see there's a little, um, there's three lines, four lines, and we want to click that menu. And what we want to do is go select all unused. And what it's going to do, it's going to select all our swatches or our colors here. And we can actually delete the, these ones because we're not going to use them. And what we do is just press the little bin in the right corner there, as you can see. Click that, you'll get um, an option and just press yes. So now we can see all our swatches are emptied. And now we can start building colors from this panel here. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to lock this image. And then what we're going to use is the eyedropper tool. So if you press I for the eyedropper tool, it's also located on the left here. As you can see there, I just right clicked and you can see I is a shortcut. And you can see my mouse has changed. And what we can now do is draw some colors from here. So I really like these, you know, oranges, greens, the purples. So we can just go in, zoom in. I'm just holding Alt and you can actually zoom in with your mouse wheel like that. Just pretty simple. And I'm going to start selecting some of these colors. So you can see there, once I've got that color, I can just press this button here. That looks like a little paper document. And then once you do that, what you want to do is click global. This will make it a global color, so it's very useful later on. So that means if you have multiple objects of the same color, you just edit that one color and it's going to edit the color over all the objects, over all your um, artwork. So that's really handy to, to keep in mind. So you can see there, I'm going to start just drawing colors from this. Little cupcake pancake thing, it looks really nice. So, you know, we've got some reds, we've got some oranges, some pinks, even, you know, an off white there. Sort of like Christmas Christmassy colors a little bit. So we've got some of those. We can go down here, get some purples. And the cool thing with this is that it's just fun, you know, you're just getting real colors. And if you zoom in even more, you can see all the pixels there. Because it's an image, you can see if you just click it like around and you find the, the squares, you can get a lot of different tones. So keep that in mind as well. And the cool thing I like to do as well, I like to make some groups. So you can see my swatches panel. There's a folder. You just click that and call it, you know, color group. So you can name the group if you want. And you can see there, I can actually just drag the colors now into that group there. So if I have one palette, I can keep it like that. And you can just make as many groups as you want. So it's really handy by doing this. Maybe I want a lighter green, like that. So you'll go through the image, you know, do it on any other image you find, build some color palettes, build some groups, you know, try and find at least three or four, um, and then we're gonna start to use this in our illustration.